Hey everybody, we're back in the office. I hope you're ready, because we're, we're about to do a computer episode. Time to boot up my computer. Boot your compute. Time to put your credit card into the floppy slot and just <laughs> fuck everything up. <laughs> oh man, I can only imagine. That's like a peanut butter in the fucking VCR, man. Uh, let's review a case. One, nine, nine, one, four, four. Hey, three keys, Nambi. Soichin. That's the case for Marie's Soichin. stabbing. Soichin. Because Marie was stabbed. If for some reason you're watching this as your first uh, <clears throat> yeah, Quest 3 episode. Hey, look. Her birth date changed from Valentine's Day to <laughs> a month later and a day. Yep. <laughs> wow. And perhaps a different year. I'm not sure. I have She's... to go and check the tapes. Yes. She seems taller. And yep. and uh, yeah, this is good. That's good. The consistency is yep. good. She was attacked on 341 East Rose. There are no suspects. I don't know. Is this investigator is, is me? Is any of this reliable? Like, I see so many problems already. Oh, really? What? Where? where Her birthday for one. Yeah. And how can somebody be in a comma? <laughs> <laughs> How could you possibly be in a comma? How could you be a in a piece of punctuation? punctuation. <laughs> also, uh, well, the date, whatever, this is fine. This is only two weeks after Marie's birthday, apparently. Holy uh, shit. But the time was absolutely wrong. Yeah, it that was, like was wrong. It was like 10 or something like that when, when this all went down. This is but, fucking ridiculous. How hard would it have been to get this fucking think, right? right? Like, yeah. just set some of these things down. Use your... But, fucking brain sierra whatever the fuck are you doing <laughs> uh three seven i'm sorry if i said it extra mad and, and you actually had something yeah, that, to do with this that game sounded a, a little upset yeah i mean it's just uh internal logic you know that's all right yeah consistency is important right cliff jones yep his same birthday as marie as new marie's new birthday there you go because it's easier to is copy and paste, isn't it? The same it? year? Yeah. 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 Just change the three to a five. That's all you got to do, right? Bingo, bango. <laughs> it's really easy. Oh, look. Yeah. Same fucking time, too. Look. Wow. 5.30. Yeah. yeah. Maybe this is just like uh, the default time and the guy that was running it is just like, uh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I don't know what fucking time it happened. Yeah. That's certainly what it seems like. <laughs> this is the time that I logged this. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All right. Lacerated heart and liver due to multiple stab wounds. Puncture wounds measuring six inches and one and a quarter inches indicate the weapon as being a dagger. A dagger, you say? A dagger. Or sorry, one and a half inches. So this is relevant, obviously, because it's the same type of puncture wound that was on Marie's, right? <gasps> That's right. Hair clutched yes. in the victim's hand. Lab analysis. Blood says, a neg. It's a neg. It's a neg. <laughs> Lab analysis. Blood yep. type. A neg. Incisions the shape of a pentagram were located in the lower <laughs> left quarter of the t- quadrant of the torso. The pentagram was carved after death. So uh, somebody carved a, a, a pentagram into the body. Lame. Yep, lame. What year do they think this is? 1991? <laughs> It was. I know. That's why I said it. Uh, interrupted by the victim. A struggle ensued, and the victim was murdered. Motive: burglary. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds like a real rich guy. Yeah, so, sounds yeah. like poisoning. A real so and so. Poison. Uh, sorry. I'm just gonna back off here for a second. I want to take a look at that chain zero nine nine eight seven. I think we might be able to check the serial number with our serial number checker. Yell at floppy drive. Nine nine eight seven. I know, right? Zero nine nine eight seven. Okay. <clears throat> so it takes a woo. U.S. Army Bronze Star awarded to Samuel Britt Infantry for meritous service during we. <laughs> Samuel Britt murder victim. Could you imagine if in like <laughs> school they just decided to pronounce WW2 or World War II as we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at the scene of Marine's uh, attempted murder was we got Samuel Britt's 
Braun Star. Yep. And Samuel Britt is a murder victim. There's this case. Let's look it up. Case number one 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 nine nine one two four. One nine 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 two one two four. Empire. Let's take a look. <gasps> Sherry were bred. Yeah, hey, he has yeah. a different date of birth from the oh, other people. And wow, it was logged but fifteen minutes 15 earlier. Fifteen minutes earlier. <laughs> yeah, nice job, everyone. Yeah, Lacerated heart and liver due to multiple stab oh. wounds. Puncture wounds measuring yeah. six inches and one and a half, <gasps> believed to be a dagger. A dagger. Yep. A negative Dange. hair. DNA an analysis. A Another A neg. A neg. Uh, incisions shape of a pentagram were located in the lower left quadrant of the torso, carved after death. Once again, and, these really uh, have nothing to do with anything. Yeah, looks like he was the first. So no other existing homicides of the same mo. Unknown cult has possibly moved into the area. Robbery, ritualistic sacrifice based on the pentagram was the motive that they uh, expect. <clears throat> Evidence analysis, stolen property, military bronze star, serial number, 09987. So we found it. There you go. All right. Case we closed. We solved the mystery. Call Britt's uh, family. Let them know we found the uh, the evidence, and we will return it to them. Well, yeah. that's Just not, as soon as we can, because that's what good police that's do. That's not part of our job. Oh, wow. Really? Hmm. Yeah. convenient. <laughs> also, I don't think I have a phone number to call, so. Because everything period else period is period our <laughs> fucking job hey this is not code name iceman there are certain things we don't have to do it may be a jim uh, walls game where he wants you to experience every possible thing that that <laughs> police work has to offer but i'll catch up with you later sonny right. don't go too far i'll know where you go i'll know when you get in your car Jeez. I will follow the <laughs> fuck out of you. She's got she's got Keith sense. <laughs> she was bitten by a radioactive Keith. Difference. I killed Keith. Marie says bye to you, but you say nothing. She's got to <laughs> learn respect. Respect. <laughs> respect. Go see, the, go see the jailer. Oh, sorry. I got other stuff I need to do. That's all right. Can you just visit? Officer Martha Gibbs has been in the evidence offer for two years. She's been in the <laughs> evidence offer. Cool. Oh, if you have got something for me, Bond, stick. What the fuck? <laughs> you had something to drop off for you here for the show. Come on. <laughs> yeah, she's singing show tunes. All right. How much can you give me for this? Oh, what's the case number, Sonny? One nine nine one four four. <laughs> oh, name Marie Bonds. So really, you had to type the number, but you it's like you couldn't speak it. Evident. Yeah, right. Broken neck chain. Location found. Clutched the victim's right hand. And disposition. I'm fucking pissed. Secure as possum. <laughs> I'm fucking pissed. I'm pissed if you must know, Gibbs. That's my disposition. I... <laughs> That's my fucking disposition. I'm throwing this at you, too. See if she notices. What's the case number, Sonny? You can just tell it to me. Oh, no. No, no. Punch it in. <laughs> make sure that you are paying attention. Marie Bonds. Marie Bonds. Description of evidence. Bronze Star. Location found. <laughs> Scene of attack. Mall parking lot. And disposition. I don't know what to make I of it. I believe I mentioned this, but I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it's time to call it a day. Before you close out your shift, you head over to the hospital to see Mari. That's right. That was our entire work day. Wow. There are a lot of these. I'm here to see Marie. The receptionist looks friendly enough. Did you notice all the parking there was there? Like right I up know. front? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> the hospital is, yeah. Can I get you something, sir? Jeez. I know. <laughs> I'm visiting my wife. That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> I'm sorry she's ill. Perhaps a nice fresh flower. <laughs> 
do it. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's let's do it. <clears throat> Pull your gun on her. I think I'd like a. Ro- oh, sorry, I think I'd like a rose, please. <laughs> Good choice. Our roses are particularly fresh and beautiful today. <laughs> Here you are, sir. That will be $250. You pay the florist and take the rose. Inflation has gotten real bad (laughs) on the flower market. (laughs) All right. That's another one of the things. Try not to lose your soul on the way up to see your (laughs) wife, Barnes. (laughs) Bane says hello. May I help you, sir? I'm looking for my wife, Marie Barnes. Could you tell me what room she's in, please? FFS? (laughs) FFS? <laughs> oh, yes. I can, but I My won't. It's been moved to room 307. Bye. <laughs> oh, jeez. Press the button, try to pry the doors open with your hands, and you get your hiney. Fuck's sake. God damn it, Jim. <laughs> you know what I wanted to do. Don't tell me click just click to just do click something click. else to, what, give me an extra click? What's with the dialogue boxes in this game? Can you please tell me? What, what do you mean? So we like... They come up so fucking fast, and they leave so fast. Well, the dialogue boxes, most of the time, the when the square dialogue boxes, I have to click to advance, or they last uh, for quite a while. The the speech balloons, though, oof, they just that's really rough. go. Yeah. That's rough, They yeah. just go at whatever pace they fucking feel like. <clears throat> I guess it's because we're emulating this, too. Well, I mean, yeah, I could really slow down the CPU cycles if I wanted to yeah, to make it but, better, but... Yeah. You talk gently to your wife, hoping that some part of her hears you. You're hoping it's her ears. Yeah. You know, if her mouth heard you, it would be not very useful. My little finger... Oh, it's got thorns. <gasps> she moved her fucking fingers! You could swear you just saw Marie's finner moo. Finger. Finger moo. You place your eye gently into Marie's mouth. (laughs) (laughs) You place your eye into the rose. It is still fresh and beautiful. (laughs) (laughs) She's awake! (laughs) She's awake! It's a miracle! Hey, you guys! (laughs) Uh, Sloth joke. Sloth joke. Uh, Stick finger in mouth. (laughs) You softly kiss your wife. Her eyelids flicker. With electricity in response. There we go. You gently, you yeah, gently just, just talk to your you wife, go, hoping you that something hurts oh. you. You Sorry, I was click. I, I just clicked through <laughs> the things that we've already said. So that that is you me. Ca- That's a hundred percent. You kick your kick your you kick your. You tenderly honk her boob and leave the room. <laughs> you place you your her nose between your fingers and push just a little. <laughs> These are all things we enjoyed doing when she was awake. Yes. Maybe it'll stir her to be open to new feelings. Feeling physically and emotionally drained, you drive home after two hours of work. Not even. Half an hour of work. <laughs> I, and three minutes of visiting your wife. I... Fiddled with the computer and logged two pieces of evidence and left. It's a good thing the captain called you to get in there as quickly as possible. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I mean... Wow. What a hard day. Maybe I ended up... Maybe it takes a really fucking long time to get home. Day three. Oh, shit, I almost fell out of bed. (laughs) Yawn. Up. All right, don't mess around this time. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, we've we've done our looking around and what have you, so instead of... Yeah. And let's go get that. What is that? Oh, yeah, we didn't even get to look at the... Get cake from wardrobe. You didn't even look at it. We just picked it up. Yeah, well, what it would say is uh, on the... Um, let's see if it... Yeah, remember the closet contains and... Marie's clothes and other personal items. On the top shelf are some... Uh, souvenirs or or knickknacks that Marie is personally f- is spe- especially fond of, including her music box, is what it usually says. Some uh, souvi souvs. So her we have porcelain naked cherub connection collection, not a connection. It's not a connection. <laughs> the a naked collection. cherub connection. <laughs> connection. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Do you like porcelain naked children? <laughs> Marie does. doesn't. 
She's into it. <laughs> Johnny, do you like movies about gladiators? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, Marie, she'll collect anything. God She's knows. a hoarder. A hoarder. They've really glossed over this whole former prostitute thing. Yeah, there. I, I didn't even know that was a thing. This is my first police quest that I played. And uh-huh. I did not even know that Marie is a former uh, lady of the evening until I had played Police Quest 1. There you go. Now you know. I played them all out of order. One, three, babe, babe. one, two. Well, yeah. Nice nice red shirt, Sonny. I know, right? Good, he has a good impeccable choice. fashion sense. You're going to quit. Gray slacks. Not careful. Just, just fucking quit. That's right. Quit. <laughs> That's it. Last episode finale. Bye, everybody. <laughs> but <laughs> we are legit out of time. So, <clears throat> oh, thank are we? You. Yeah. Thank know. you very much for joining us, everybody. Day three. We're uh, Dave three. Yep. Yeah. Dave three. David three. See you. See you next time, everybody. Will we? Probably. I don't think we're going to see them at all. I hope so. And I don't think they're going to see us. Come back and watch more of the show. Maybe we should get some cams on here. Everybody can see my beauty. We'll see numbers that represent them in our YouTube analytics. That's how we see them. <sighs> people aren't numbers for the last time, Luke. People aren't numbers! <laughs> they're flush and blood! I know you're a producer, Luke, but think about the people. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. My disposition? I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs>